Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be cooking with Hello Fresh. So um, if you wanna see how this goes, keep watching. One of my sorority sisters put on her story that she had free HelloFresh boxes if we were interested. So I sent her a DM and then she sent me an email and I logged on and I got a free box with three meals. Um, so we're six of us and each of these meals is for two people. Um, so let me show you guys what I got. So the first one is the creamy Parmesan chicken spaghetti and it tells you like um, all the ingredients that it comes with, how long it takes to make, um, and it gives you the instructions in the back as well with pictures, like this. Um, the other meal is the figgy balsamic pork. Looks like this. On the back. And then the third meal is griddled onion cheeseburgers. You can see excuse me amiga Sorry. looks like this so we are going to start making the creamy parmesan chicken spaghetti i like it because it tells you like all the things that you're gonna need so it says you need a large pot a cester aluminum foil a strainer um, and then it breaks down the ingredients and then it tells you the steps and to do it. So we're going to start off with, it wants me to put the tomatoes in the oven, but I'm not going to use a regular oven. I'm going to use a little mini toaster to do the roasted tomatoes because we don't need, we don't need the whole oven. And you know, we're Mexican, so we got like all the pans in there and I'm not about to take all that out. So we're going to start with cutting up the tomatoes and putting them to roast. You're just going to cut up the tomatoes for us to roast them. It said to only use one teaspoon, so I'm just kind of doing the best. I added the tomatoes into this little toaster and I put it to 350 degrees and I'm gonna close it and I'm gonna let them roast in here. So we already added some water and we're preparing it for it to boil. Now we're going to season the chicken. I took it out of the package that it came in and then we're going to add the spice that came, that we added for, to the tomatoes as well. Tuscan heat spice. Now we are going to add the chicken with a little bit of oil. We're going to add the roasted garlic herb butter over medium heat now. We're going to add the lemon zest and the cream cheese that came with it. I think it's just regular cream cheese. And then we added one third cup of the pasta water. Now we're mixing it. And then we add half of the Parmesan cheese that they provided. And we also squeeze half a lemon. Okay, now we're gonna add in the pasta. So I just went ahead and added the basil and the chicken and squeeze the remainder of the lemons. I'm gonna take those seeds out. And now the remainder of the Parmesan. 
And this is pretty much our final product. Creamy Parmesan chicken spaghetti. Next, we're going to make the figgy balsamic pork. And this is what came in the bag. Potatoes, fig gem spread, balsamic vinegar, green beans, rosemary. So we're just going to cut up these potatoes so that we can put them in the oven. We have to separate the rosemary from the stem. I don't know really how to cut this, but I'm guessing this is kind of how I do the cilantro. We're gonna add half of the rosemary and we added some olive oil and we're mixing it up. So we added the green beans with the potatoes. Now they're gonna roast with a little bit of oil and salt. It says to put it in the oven, but I wanna cook it faster because it's time to eat. And this is pretty thick, so I'm gonna make it thinner. It says to do it in the oven, but I'm not because I do what I want. Zumba. <laughs> so yes, we're just gonna cook these. Okay, we added, this is a pan that we were making the pork in and now we're adding the rosemary and the shallots. going to add some water. The chicken stock concentrate to yummy. The fig jam. We then added butter. And then here is the pork with the veggies. on to the griddled cheeseburger plate we are going to start by cutting the potatoes into wedges we add some of the garlic powder seasoning and then we mix it all up now these ones we actually put into the oven next we cut up shallots and we add them to a bowl with brown sugar and vinegar we mix them up and we set them aside while we make the rest of the meal this is going to be added as a topping to the burger now on to the sauce in another separate bowl we are going to add the sour cream the ketchup, a little bit of brown sugar, and some mustard, as well as a little bit of the garlic powder. And then we mix it all up. Once it turns into a creamy consistency, you can set that aside, and we're gonna move on to cooking the beef patties. We cut up some onions and we fry them in some oil. We start shaping the beef into patties. The serving size was for two people, but we created four of them. Now we add them into the pan with the onions. We flip them and make sure that they're cooked thoroughly. Next, we add a little bit of the cheese on top of each patty. This is optional, but we also added a little bit of cheese on top of our potato wedges before they were just about done cooking. Once the cheese is melted on each patty, they're ready to go on the buns. We cut up some tomatoes and we added a little bit of the sauce, a little bit of the shallots, and bam, they were ready to eat. 
there you have it guys the griddled cheeseburger sliders they were so good I personally wasn't used to the shallots but they were so bomb I would definitely eat this again Yay. Lucy, did you like the pork? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yay! Yay! Alright guys, that was it. If you guys try this, let me know what you guys thought. If you guys liked it, we're about to eat. Um, it took me three hours to do all of this. So, I'm tired. But if you guys liked it, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video.